I'd like to talk to you about four general types of questions that are often asked in, in quizzes on elasticity. First, determinants of elasticity, then calculating the elasticity using the midpoint formula, and then calculating the elasticities um, where you're given maybe the ch percentage change in price and, and the elasticity and you have, to ch uh, you have to calculate the third variable. And lastly, total revenue and elasticity. So let's start out with determinants. So there's various types of determinants of elasticity. In this case, I'm going to do what's often called the definition of the good, how narrowly you define the good. Other classic cases would be time, uh, number of substitutes, uh, necessities versus luxuries. So let's look at this one. In comparing the demand for fruit with the demand for food, which of the following statements is true? Well, we know that fruit is part of the category of food, at least I hope it is, and fruit is more narrowly defined, which means if the price of fruit goes up by 10%, there's a lot of other things I could substitute into. Food, if the price of food goes up by 10%, what am I going to substitute into? That's a really good question. I kind of like to eat. So in this case, since food is, food is going to be less elastic because there's not a lot of substitutes, fruit is going to be more elastic because there's vegetables, there's grains, a bunch of different things. So in this case, which one fits the best? And uh, let's start out with a, a and check it out. So the demand for fruit is more elastic than the demand for food. Well, that sounds actually pretty good. The demand for fruit, B, the demand for fruit has the same. Nope. C, the demand for fruit is less elastic. Nope. So it looks like A is our best answer. So let me bring up here my pen. So it looks like A is our best answer. Okay, let's go on to the next one. The price of a round trip ticket to uh, between in, uh, Indianapolis and Salt Lake City increased from 300 to 325. And so, Fed, let's graph this. Not the straightest lines in the world. Sorry about that. When you do the elasticity of demand, you're looking at changes in price along a demand curve. In our case, it looks like we're starting at 300 and we're going up to 325. At 300, we had what, 10,000? I'm going to put 10K standing for 1,000, and then I'm going to go to 9, and K is going to stand for my 1,000. So it looks like we um, we also know, or it looks like we start right here at A, point A, I'll call it right here, and then went up to B, and the question is using the arc elasticity. So we know that, first of all, we need to change, we know that the uh, percentage change in quantity over the percentage change in price. Well, change in quantity. Well, that means we have to subtract. Looks like we went up, or actually went down by 1,000 here. So let's do 9,000 minus 10,000. And one more zero. Then we take the average quantity. So 9,000 plus 10,000 divided by 2. That would give us our percentage change in quantity. Now we do need to find our percentage change in price. We went 325 minus 300. Divided by, now we need to put it in percentage terms. We For the arc elasticity, we divide by the average, which is what? 325 plus 300 divided by 2. If you calculate all that together, I get negative 1.32. Negative sign just means it's a downward sloping demand curve. A lot of times um, people will take the absolute value and just take 1.32 as the elasticity of demand. Um, other people will say, well, no, it's a negative slope, leave on the negative. But regardless, our elasticity is 1.32, whether you leave the negative sign on or not. Let's go to our next question. So and again, looking at calculating elasticities, some people would like to see the United States cut back on its use of oil. If the elasticity of demand for oil in the United States is negative uh, 0.5, 
So over here, we know this is going to be negative 0 0.5. And we also know how much would the price of oil have to rise. So it's asking about price of oil. We know, Just on the last slide, we saw a percentage change in prices on the bottom. So I'll just look that, at that as our x variable. And then we want a 50% cut in the price of um, oil consumption. Or not the price, but the quantity, excuse me. So 0.5, and I'll put 0 0.50. And so we want, and actually we're going to have a negative there. So we know the demand curve's upward sloping. I'm sorry, downward sloping. Let me get that right. So we're going to raise our price. Looks like for this region, the demand curve, the elasticity is inelastic. So we're going to we want to reduce our quantity by that 50%. So what change in price up here will cause the law of demand to say at higher prices people buy less? Well, if we calculate this and solve for x, multiply both sides by x, and so you end up with what 0.5 divided by um, 0.5, and 0.5 times divided by 0.5 is pretty close to one. Um, and we want that in percentage terms. So that would be what? C, 100%. Solving for X. So 100% increase in price will cause a 50% reduction in quantity. And so I probably should have put a negative sign there. So price goes up, quantity goes down. C. Let's go to our next one. Um, total revenue and elasticity. So in this case, Let's see, we have a demand curve with elasticity to demand of negative 2.5. Now again, you can take the absolute value and just say it's 2.5, it's elastic. Well, if it's elastic, that means the demand curve would probably be relatively, what, flat? Relative, um, if, it's zero, if the um, elasticity to demand is zero, it's a vertical line. If it's infinity, it's horizontal. In this case, it's uh, a little bit flatter. And if it's flatter, um, I like to use kind of a rubber band thing where if the price goes up and it's elastic, revenue must go down. So if the price of the good and a fall in the price of the good, so let's do it the opposite way. So price goes down. If it's elastic, revenue must go up. It must go the opposite direction. So price down, revenue up. That looks kind of like B, doesn't it? I think you're right. So if B, relatively flat, price goes down, revenue goes up. Thank you.